In this video, we're talking about how we can take native Excel files out of Relativity, perform redaction in a native file, reload them back into Relativity, and produce. Before I show you the workflow, let's talk about it first so you know exactly what we're going to do. What we're talking about today is either free or very cheap redaction of Excel files. Let's get going. The workflow we're going to take is we're going to export native files out of Relativity. We're going to manually go into those files and make changes to them to remove data we do not want. We're going to remove any metadata we don't need. We're going to take those native files after they've been redacted, upload them back into Relativity, change our saved search so it includes new documents, and we're going to run the production. There are two workflows we can do. One is covered in this video, which is where we manually edit in native files. The advantage of this workflow is you get more control over final output. It's cheap. Uh, but the downside of it is there is more chance of an error and it's a more complicated process. Another option would be to purchase an Excel redaction tool that integrates into Relativity, such as one from uh, Malili. Um, the downside of it is the tool will convert your Excel file into like a near native or an HTML format, which of course would make it easier for you, but there is a chance of error that there is a data loss. Uh, and on the upside, it's integrated to Relativity and well, like I said, it's much easier to use, but the downside again is it's expensive. So what we're doing here is cheap or free. Question on everyone's mind. Is it actually okay to change native files? Well, some people say yes and others say no. Um, well, I'm not an attorney, so I don't know. Um, I'm not saying this process is acceptable. All I'm saying is people do this and I am showing you this process and I'm making it easier for you to do this. If you're not comfortable doing what I'm showing you, don't do it. And very quickly on topic free versus cheap. Generally, more money you throw at the problem, the easier it becomes. What we're talking about here is if you do it free, you have to do more work. If you spend a little bit of money, meaning cheap, you have to put less work in. Point is, sometimes spending a little bit of money will help you a lot. So that's going to be the cheap solution here. Hopefully it'll become clear in a minute. And the tools we're going to be using in this demo is Admin Pro, which is a free tool, and a redaction toolbar, which is not free. But both of these tools are available from hashtag legal.com where you can go and download them. And of course, once you look at this process, if you feel like it's too complicated, then there are certainly better tools on the market where you can purchase. They're not cheap. They're not free, um, but they will do a better job. Better user experience is easier. Again, we're doing this on the cheap. Let's get going. Here I am on Relativity in a favorite Enron case, and I'm going to go to Saved Searches, and I have my production prep Saved Search, and these are the documents that I was asked to produce. Before producing, I have to take my Excel files, export them out, and give them to people who are going to perform redactions. So let's do that first. We're going to search for .excel, and here we have 17 Excel files. So let's export them out to a folder. I'm going to make a folder called uh, to be redacted, and I'm going to copy this path. I'll say all, and just to be, just so it's quicker, I'm going to use my admin pro to perform export. You can do all this using either desktop client or you can use integration points. It's up to you. But here I'm just going to paste the path, say copy files, close it, and it's already done. You don't have to, you know, it's quicker than even opening a desktop client. Next, we're going to perform redactions. I'm going to open this in Excel. And I am going to look at this data and I'm going to decide what needs to be redacted. So let's say, of course, I don't know what needs to be redacted, but I'm going to pretend that I want to take this column out. A couple of ways you can do it is you can just delete the data. Uh, you can fill it with column with black, or you can do some of these things. 
what I propose you do is you download a redaction toolbar from my website and you use this to quickly apply a redaction to your Excel. So you see how we removed all the data from all the cells, merged them all together and put a word redacted there. Same way if we want to take some more data from here, we can perform a standard redaction. And of course, Excel warns us that we're removing data, which is the whole point of this anyway. Um, and lastly, if we have uh, any sheets here that are hidden, so let me just hide a couple, I can go to unhide and I can quickly unhide any data I have. Let me do one more redaction just so we could see later that it actually works. I'm going to do a standard redaction here. And now I'm going to close this Excel file and save it. Now in the real world, you would probably have two folders to be redacted and has been redacted. So you always have original copy and you copy them over as you do redactions. For our demonstration, it doesn't really matter. Next, what we're going to do is take these documents and we load them back into Relativity. Go into my case. I will go to processing, processing set. Go into say new. We'll call it redact Excel for prod 001. And now we're going to choose a, a processing profile. So you want to configure a special profile for this. Uh, one thing you want to turn off is the deduplication option. You definitely don't want to deduplicate your newly redacted Excels. So I'm going to save that. And I'm going to add a processing source. I will save. Now I'm ready to run Discover. Say yes. Processing done. We have our 17 files. Always check your counts. And now we can publish. We'll say yes. And I published and finished, so we can go back to our Documents tab and confirm we have our 17 documents. Go to Documents and my folder to be redacted. And of course, you'll name it Production 1 Redacted or something like that. I'm going to click on the first document. And what I want to do is go to Extracted Text and confirm that my words redacted actually appear there. And you could see there right here. So redacted, redacted. And if we look at the viewer, there we go. Now, what we have to do is for a production safe search, we need to substitute these native files instead of the ones we exported out. So let's do that next. I'm going to go to safe search, I'm going to go to our production tag, and let's find all the documents we have exported. So now we can either remove them for production or better yet, we can add a choice to our production designation and we assign it a redaction, native redaction to do. So we're going to give them that choice. And for documents we just loaded, we'll say production one redaction done. Now we need to fix our control number. So let's go into all, replace, and we'll update our control number replace entire field with field file name and then we're going to do one more replace of control number we're going to say search for dot xls 
and replace it with underscore redacted. We'll click save and we say okay. And now we can go to our production search. Modify this. So we have our documents produce and produce done, but we don't want any documents. And we'll say is none of to do. And we'll save and search. And now our Excel files are all the way at the end. Are they? Yes, they are. So the last thing we have to do is adjust sort order of our saved search, which is control number. Save and search. And now you see that our redacted Excel files are in this saved search. And now that we have our saved search in order, we can check to make sure everything looks good. Uh, and after that, when you run a production, you have to make sure that you use control number as a sort order for production. Well, I hope this workflow helps you next time you have to do Excel redactions. Thanks for watching.